All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, we're homesteading and how-to channel. And today I'm finally getting around to using my Woodland Mills. It's the HM122, I think, I'm not sure. Had it set up for a little while here, just playing around with it. Um, I finally got some, like a little project going. So we've got this old well uh, covering here. We've got a hand dug well, God knows when it was put in, probably 1800s for sure. Um, you know, field stones all the way around and we use it for watering the garden. So it's pretty ratty, like the, the well covering. So I'm gonna basically be building a, a frame, a platform, and then just decking it. So I got two by fours uh, and I got a couple beams to put in and I got a lot of deck boards. So let me bring you over real quick and I'll show you how I'm getting rid of the old deck um, with a chainsaw. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you what I'm using my little saw, um, saw mill for. A little basic project coming up. Well, well, here's the well. Um, yeah, so here's the well covering, like I was saying. Now I went ahead, I pumped a little bit of water out of it. It's got this metal mesh here, which will not will not stop me from falling in. But the actual four x four supports uh, don't look that bad. So I'm actually removing the deck. Best best way to remove an old deck is take an old dirty chain and uh, just start just start cutting it back. So what I'm doing is I'm just like picking a corner and just making sure I got something st steady to fall back on. So go ahead here. Oh, I had her running. She's an old model. <coughs> oh, girl. Now, I don't want to sound like the safety police, but like I do have chainsaw boots on. I don't have chaps. I got a couple layers of clothing on, but you know, your eye protection or some gloves. Some of these screws are actually holding, so let me spend a minute. I'm going to get the deck covering off and then we'll have a look at it. You can kind of see what I'm dealing with. So, what these are <coughs> are the railway ties. Oh, big railway ties, and then the four by fours literally just sit on them. They got these long uh, stakes, uh, you know, big big nails in them, securing the four by fours to the railway ties. And from what I can tell, the only one that was rotten was this guy here. So that's why I've got my fresh uh, piece of uh, cedar there. Uh, I forgot to mention what I'm milling uh, mostly right now are, are um, hydro poles from work or power poles we, from Canada. So we got. Most of, our, most of our stuff's hydro um, up here in Ontario, anyhow. But um, so yeah, these are real cedar, old 50 year old cedar. Um, it looks great. So I'm going to replace that railway tie with roughly a seven by, I think it's a six by seven or so. I need seven inches of, of height to try to match over there. But there's going to be a lot of shimming and getting this thing straight because like I trusting, uh, you know, these old soggy, Railway ties isn't the best idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knock the frame off. There's a little bit of a two by four frame that holds it all together. You can see the shape too. <laughs> Google Maps, it's funny, it actually, uh, my in-laws pointed out that this, this well covering is pointed like an arrow and it points right to that tree. So there's a running joke that there might be something buried underneath it. It's starting to come along here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. Like I said earlier, a lot of shimming. So I know this isn't going to come out just perfect. Like the ties are, railway ties are, although there's a little hole over there, the rest of them are really good. So I'm confident this is going to be much stronger than it was. Um, you can see how beefy these two by fours are. Um, you know, a real two by four, it's just so much bigger than a you know, a little dinky uh, store-bought one. But um, yeah, so then I got true one-inch uh, deck boards. And yeah, I'm just gonna build this platform up. It's gonna get a little bit dicey over there. I'm gonna build it up. It's gonna be tight. I'm gonna put some uh, cross members in here to tighten everything up. And then I think in the summer, or maybe, we'll see. I'm gonna uh, go and I'll cap it. You know, I'll cap the, I'll dig down a little bit and I'll cap the outside so it's nice and tight.
Um, we're getting really close. Zoom out here a bit. Definitely the whole thing is just so out of whack. Running out of shims, but I've got it pretty close. You know, something like this building off of railway ties sunk in the mud. You know, you just try, I think I'm just gonna go for an old eyeball level. So I've got it pretty close. Uh, my span lengths, I haven't decided what I want. I'm just gonna square them up pretty much. And uh, this will be a strong deck. No kids be falling through here. All right, so went ahead. I screwed all my uh, two by four uh, uh, joist uh, to the frame. And then I went ahead and I started laying down some of this uh, cedar deck boards. Uh, they're full one inch. Uh, these are like fresh off the mill. I didn't uh, sand them or anything. I do have a, um, my father-in-law, he's got a, uh, a Dewalt planer. So I'm gonna send one side through and uh, make them super nice. You know, cause these are hydro poles, they got bolt hole poles, bolt, bolt holes in them. And uh, normally I wouldn't really care. You know, the spans are tight and the, the thick wood, but because it's a well, you know, I got kids playing here. I think I'm gonna get those ones out of there. The rest of them are all straight pieces, which is real nice. And uh, yeah, I gotta definitely shim them, get them nice, get the bounce out of them, but uh, it's coming along, definitely. I think uh, tomorrow we'll fire up the planer and get after it. Okay, so I had every intention on uh, getting out there and giving her today, but unfortunately we got like a foot and a half of snow. That happened. So the well's gonna have to wait just another day here. Jesus. Well, it's snow melted pretty much. Had some time to get up back at the deck here about a week later. So pretty much, I unfortunately, I've got to extend the deck. I've got to make the, the edge of it square. I'm, I'm not doing this octagon thing. It's just getting crazy. So I'm just scabbing some pieces out. I'm gonna have to put some stone down. I got some field stones. I'm gonna build it up for some supports. Uh, I went ahead, put these, scab some, a lot of the stuff I do out here is eyeballed, so. You know, just put a little bit of blocking in the middle there to um, firm it up a bit. Oh, it's really windy out here. So you saw earlier we had the uh, planer out. It's my father-in-law's. And we started planing the deck boards. We're just putting, putting them through for a pass. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but man, they come out looking sharp. It's smooth, actually, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. So, yeah, these are old hydro poles, like I said, cedar. Um, and yeah, man, they're looking really good. So yeah, that's gonna take a while. It's really a uh, long process. So we're gonna get those all planed up and I'm gonna deck it and then I'll do some capping. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear, we got the planer uh, blades flipped and she's just spitting wood chips. <laughs> Makes a huge difference. Um, we're getting real close, bring you over here. My uh, father-in-law Darcy's helped me out here, thank God. Um, you know, I'm pre-drilling and screwing, he's kind of getting the angles going and it's really looking sharp. Like hopefully the camera's picking that up, but. That old grain of those hydro poles, you know, 50, 60 year old cedar, it looks like insane. So we're gonna keep on going and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get the cap in the corners and making it look like real good, but we're getting there.
jump. Oh, those ones aren't screwed yet. <laughs> getting pretty close I think I've been saying that the whole video <laughs> we are getting very close now so you saw I just ripped the uh, the ends off the deck there it looks pretty good Not pretty straight you know how to switch to my left hand which is always a bit of a shit show so this is for watering our garden right so I'm gonna put a little handle on this but I've got a little access here between the uh, joists and I can throw my pump in now we actually have like a one and a half inch pump with a foot valve on the bottom that pumps up and we got a jet pump, which we use to water a garden in the summer. So that's gonna go in there. I'll get a nice handle. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's the bulk of it. It's, it's pretty damn solid. I'm pretty impressed. And man, that planer, we ended up uh, flipping the blades on the DeWalt and like it comes out, like my father-in-law was saying, it comes out like glass, like it's so smooth. Um, unfortunately, my muddy boots, I'm kind of wrecking the the, uh, the overall image here, but yeah, extremely happy. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. This was just a fun little video I uh, put together to uh, pretty much, you know, learn how to use the sawmill, get the planer out, kind of figure out what I'm uh, gonna use the wood for. And, yeah, it turned out really good. I want to say thanks to my father-in-law who uh, gave me a hand here today, uh, yesterday or last week and today. Definitely would have taken me a couple more weekends to get her done. It's a lot of work. We were chatting about it and you're at least, you know, two to three times slower. By the time you get your poles or your uh, your wood, you, you plane it, you, you, you mill it, you plane it, cutting, you know, screwing. It's, it's a lot more work, but I can tell you the finish for these uh, cedar hydro poles is uh, really nice and I'll be using them for a lot more projects. So yeah, if you're new here, we're a homesteading and how-to channel and this is the kind of uh, content that we put out. I am trying to put out more videos uh, more often. I used to post every single week. Now it seems like it's every third week or once a month, but definitely subscribe. There's lots more to come. We're not shutting her down, although things are slowed down a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.